Hi, Anna Keith. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. You know, at this stage of the campaign, there are really only 1,800 votes that count. Those are the 1,800 delegates that will come to the party nominating convention next month to endorse a candidate. With the state Democratic convention five weeks away, today's debate among five candidates was really an insider's political game. Fifth District Congressman Chris Murphy has raised the most money and appears to be ready to clinch the convention endorsement next month. And no one doubts that former Secretary of the State Susan Bicewitz will easily garner more than the 15% of delegates needed to qualify for the primary in August. A former software engineer from Greenwich named Lee Whitnam and Matthew Oakes of East Hartford have raised almost no money and are unlikely to get any delegates. But three-term State Representative William Tong of Stamford has raised over a million dollars and is turning heads in the delegate scramble. He worked as a teenager in his immigrant parents' Chinese restaurant in Hartford and eventually went to some of the nation's most prestigious schools and became a corporate lawyer. They sold a lot of egg rolls to make that happen. And I'm, and I'm not really kidding about that. He is the only Asian American running for the U.S. Senate in the continental United States, which has probably helped in his fundraising, not to mention his American dream personal story. That's why I'm in this race to reclaim that dream and to show people that it's possible, that you can still go from being the son of a cook in a Chinese restaurant to the U.S. Senate. That's resonating with people in, in town committees, like the, the good folks in Lyme who endorsed me the other night. In reality, his views are not that much different from the much better known Murphy and Bicewitz. They both have long-standing relationships with delegates from previous campaigns. Tong is depending on his rags to riches, son of immigrant success story to set him apart. What you're saying is I'm an underdog, and, and maybe it's not my turn in this race. But that's not what this race is about. It's not about whose turn it is. And I, frankly, I think we, we need an underdog in the U.S. Senate. Now, William Tong studied constitutional law at the University of Chicago from a young professor named Barack Obama. Now, jumping from a state legislative seat to the U.S. Senate is a big jump, but he notes Professor Obama did it. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.